The U.S. government is interested in plasma science for many different reasons, particularly around uh, energy production, fusion energy, and materials. At CPAS, I've been involved with the Department of Energy through Lawrence Livermore Lab out in California for at least 35 years. So we were doing plasma science through grants, and FAMU decided to establish a, a center uh, devoted to research that the Department of Energy was interested in. Students, when they come here, um, have the opportunity through a number of grants that we have to do summer internships at these national labs like Lawrence Livermore or Los Alamos or Pacific Northwest Laboratory. They spend their first two years at Florida A&M and if, the, if they choose to and the lab uh, wants to work with them, they'll go out to the labs and do their last two or three years uh, doing their research PhD at the laboratories. Several of my uh, colleagues in my cohort actually spent their full time at Lawrence Livermore National Labs until they finished their PhD. And that gives them an extremely unique opportunity to get an inside feel for working in a national lab environment setting. And with my particular research project, I had a lot of experimental hands-on experience. And I had to do all of the different operations from setting up the experiment, collecting the data, analyzing it, writing it up, publishing it, and even doing uh, sort of routine maintenance and repairs if something broke with the experiment. So I really got to wear all of the different hats. The research groups are rather small, so that students who uh, come here have a uh, close relationship with the professors, and they have a flexibility in choosing the type of research they want, want to get involved in. Overall, our lab was created because Florida a &M had a unique uh, position as being leaders in plasma physics in the state of Florida. But mainly uh, for me, I'm most proud of the fact that my lab has produced three NNSA fellows and two of them have gone on to get positions at uh, NNSA, one at the headquarters and one at Livermore in the weapons division. So we are doing uh, research around the uh, National Ignition Facility support and also standoff detection of nuclear materials. So for example, we have a, a, a terawatt femtosecond laser, we have a, a X-pinch fusion device, and there's other related ideas around fusion. Currently, the world wants to get away from the use of fossil fuels because of its effect on climate change. So one new approach towards energy production is nuclear fusion, controlled nuclear fusion and the production of intense pulses of x-rays that can then be used to begin nuclear fusion reactions that become a source of abundant energy. The x pinch can be used in a simple, direct way to study the intense sources of x-rays. We are helping to further the understanding of fusion plasmas for the energy of the future and we are studying such things as the, um, the sustainability and the confinement, which are open questions in the field. The sphere of my care is actually the largest in the world at the time it was built. My research relies mostly in condensed matter physics and overlapping high energy density science. So the goal of uh, this high pressure magnetic matter at high pressures is to identify magnetic materials that are stable at atomic pressure regime and then also to look for electronic and magnetic quantum states of matter in them. So this is a com completely unexplored area, so we don't know what kind of quantum states we would find. In my laboratory, we have multiple high energy laser systems as well as state of the art spectrometers, which we use to conduct a lot of laser plasma work. We use the terawatt laser system coupled with the nanosecond systems we have, as well as the CO2 systems to look at laser plasma interactions with matter. The type of plasma that a terawatt or femtosecond system produces is different from that of a nanosecond system, and again, different from what you can get out of a CO2. So we study the interaction of the various types of plasmas in the way that we can keep it, shall we say, hotter, longer, so that we can allow for a higher signal to noise ratio in our measurements. We want to uh, double our student body uh, working at CPAST. It's a student-centered operation here. Uh, the students are closely coupled to the research. And actually, we can't possibly do the research without the student. 
you know, you have your resume and you have your eulogy resume. What are the things you're most proud of? And I think the thing I'm most proud of is my four PhD students. They're all employed, they're all gameful, and they're all happy. See past you become part of the family.